we also welcome Nathan Callis. With live music by Monarch. And now your host, Mikey Little. You guys having a good time tonight? Man, it's been a lot has happened since last Thanksgiving, and uh, we got a lot of news to catch up on. And uh, here's what everybody's talking about, okay? Um, faith in the DC Cinematic Universe—it's really gone down after mm. last year's Justice League just really tanked in the box office. Uh, Henry Cavill was fired as Superman. You know, uh, Ben Affleck walked away from Batman, and. Wonder Woman had to get a job at Whataburger. I mean, <laughs> luckily they didn't have to change the logo too much, so it, it worked out. It was good. It was good. I, hey, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but there's a new um, fad, a wellness fad called cow cuddling. Have you guys seen this? Cow cuddling. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. In upstate New York, apparently you can be a part of a cow experience. Awesome. Where you, it brings relaxation, it brings healing, and it actually teaches you about boundaries. Yeah. Boundaries? Like you, you're setting boundaries? Yeah, like, you know, like consent and stuff. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing with a cow that you'd need to get consent? I, maybe killing it. I don't know. Um, well, okay. anyway, during a 90-minute session, which costs $300 for two people, uh, you can play with this thing, you can pet it, and, of course, you can cuddle with it. So now you can, uh, you can, you, you can hug the meat that you would like to eat. <laughs> so... Um, it's kind of like going to Texas Roadhouse, and you know you can pick out your meat. This is a step further. You can now hug the meat that you want to eat. I want that one. You know, it kind of has a good ring to it, doesn't it? it kind of sounds like a like a soulish song or something. You know, like hugging the meat. I'm hugging the meat I want to eat. You know what I'm saying? You guys feel that? You feel that? I'm hugging meat and I like to eat. Mm. You guys are good. No, that's dumb. Okay, anyway. <laughs> at the end of October, this is a true story, guys. All these are true stories, by the way. Um, <laughs> at the end of October, uh, high school superintendent Thomas Tramgolini uh, was fired for allegedly being a serial pooper in public places. A SPPP. Tramgolini apparently uh, had a case of the runner's diarrhea. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. And he had to, he had to run off the track, go under the bleachers, take a poop, but he got caught and arrested and fired and later deemed the pooper intended. So. <laughs> Anyone still watching Walking Dead? Yeah. No? no? Okay, well, fine. All right. Fine, whatever. Cool, don't watch it, I don't care. I don't even give a crap. All right, <clears throat> well, back in October, no, this is sick, guys. We live in a really weird world, but back in October, uh, Houston officials banned a proposed robot brothel. I don't know if you've seen this from setting up business as the first of its kind in, its, in the United States. Now, they had um, started one in Vancouver. They're trying to get in the United States. They're trying to go through Houston, but the Houston mayor stopped it. And uh, apparently, you can buy lifelike women robots or, just, or even just rent them. But rent? You could rent them? 
yeah, it's kind of like eating a half-eaten candy bar, maybe, or, mm. but way worse, way worse. That's not good. Do they have, like, maybe some sort of Carfax thing <laughs> that's going with the... Like an accident report, or at least previous owners. I moving right along. Um, <clears throat> Forget about all that. Okay, Disney's live-action sequel to Frozen will be released this winter, featuring Hugh Jackman as... Yeah, yeah. And he's actually going to be Olaf as the greatest snowman. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You're so silly. Oh, so, such, a, such a punny guy. Dad jokes. Macy's here. You're proud of me. I know you are. Okay. <laughs> Again, the, the jokes. It, uh, anyway, a 34-year-old New Hampshire man was arrested last July in Planet Fitness. This guy's my hero, by the way. I don't know if you read this story, but uh, gym goers caught him allegedly doing yoga in the nude. hey -o. <laughs> Police say that he, he confessed that he thought he would get away with it because it was a quote-unquote judgment-free zone. <laughs> this guy's like trying to like, he's like trying to prove a point. He's like, oh yeah, I'll show you judgment-free. I'm going to do some naked yoga. And everyone's like, whoa, that's not okay. That's a, but I just got to know, how do, you, how do you, like, arrest, you know, a naked man? And he'd be all, all sweaty. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, downward dog, like, hey, <laughs> how do I, I don't know how to approach the situation. Uh, sir, you put know? your hands, just please put these handcuffs on yourself. <laughs> you know what, and just wipe down everything that you've touched, or shoot, even looked at. You know what, just clean the whole place, and then we'll arrest you afterwards. Yeah. It's horrible. Wrong place. That's not where we <laughs> hug. <laughs> Never hug a naked man. No, 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 guys, stop. You gotta stop that. Connor, I see you. <laughs> I see you back there. Stop that. Whew. That's not okay. It's not okay. <laughs> A Texas man was just sentenced to 50 years in prison for stealing over $1.2 million worth of fajitas. <laughs> this is a true story. It's the world we live in. He was, hungry. he was hungry, very hungry. He said it started out with innocent intentions. He was just having a cow experience, and he was hugging this cow one day, and, well, the rest is just history, you know? <laughs> oh, now that's right. I got you. Nice to eat. Oh. Oh. Everybody. Well, we have a great show for you guys tonight. We have the pastor of St. Stephen United Methodist Church with us, Travis Bennett, everybody. We have the youth pastor from Freedom Fellowship and a longtime friend of mine, Nathan Callis, everyone. And we have the one, the only, Monarch. Just take those old records off the shelf Oh, I'm still listening to them oh, all myself yeah. Today's music ain't got the same soul Cause I like that old time rock and roll I see you So try to take me to a disco You'll never really get me on the In ten minutes I'm in the door I Cause I like that old time rock and roll These guys are good. They're in high school, believe it or not. <laughs> Except for Cam. Cam had to wait, you know, until he got into college to be a part of a high school band. True, true. <laughs> but now he's arrived, you know? It's just a late bloomer, that's all. Man, man it's been a great year. Uh, golly. You know, we weren't expecting it to be such a great year, but it has been just... A Fantastic. phenomenal, phom phenomenal great year. Uh, we finished Whispers. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, who, who all seen Whispers? Who all saw that, y'all? Yeah? Okay, if you, if you missed out on that, it's about spiritual warfare. It's a huge thing. It's like, it's, it's just great. We, we had so much fun with it. We wrote it. I wrote it. We, I directed it. Uh, we acted in it. We edited yeah. it. We uh, put it together. We've been working on it for a whole year. I've been basically missing for a year working on this one, this one... 
Ben, yeah. what's wrong, man? I, well, just... It was good, though, wasn't it? Well, someone told me something that was kind of... It just hurt my feelings. It hurt your feelings? What, what did they well, say? Well, I mean, I won't call him out. Well, Wade right here, he told me. He came up and he's like, hey, you, you know, yeah, you guys are so cool making whispers. Write it, direct it, star in it. You guys are just all... So uh, conceited! Yeah. So conceited. Well, that's just, that's just hurtful, Wade. Why would you... Why would you say that? You know, but it is funny that you would say that because um, we actually did um, oh, yeah. we did actually film all of episode five, like some of the most important moments uh, with just the two of us playing all the parts. It was good. It was really good. Because uh, we thought we could do better like, than the students, you know? I, I kind of think we, we did do better. We did do better. But then, but then Tracy, but, wherever the heck she is, she was like, hey, you're in college ministry. You need to have college students in it. So we're yeah. like, fine. Yeah. Fine, whatever. We'll have some college students in but it. Ours so ours was really good. Ours was better. But we actually had to tell them to play our parts like, so like we did exactly it. Exactly like we did it. Exactly. Do exactly what we do. And uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, what's that, John? John, we have some. We have that film from the vault. Yeah. From the vault. Yeah. Would you guys like to see this film from the vault? Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead and go ahead and roll that. Thomas hasn't been showing up to anything. I didn't come to prayer times, he was scheduled to preach. I'm just, I'm really frustrated, Kevin. Emery, uh, how are you feeling about all this? I don't know. I'm just sad we can't be friends. I hate seeing what it does to Tristan. I hate it. Can you blame Thomas for the way he's feeling? What? What are you saying? Well, uh... Tristan, you hurt Thomas deeply when you do these things. I feel like no one's happy for us. I feel like everyone's against us. I haven't dated anyone since Jessica. <laughs> I haven't even opened myself up for that idea. I told myself I'd never date anyone again. Ever. Never. Never. Ever again. Well, no one is against you, Tristan. It's just... Usually a leader puts his people before himself. So, I'm not putting my people ahead of myself? Have you seen demons creeping around every corner? No one has to bear the weight that I do! No, no one! No one has to bear the weight that I do! <sighs> How's your prayer time has been, Tristan? Great. We have a hundred people showing up for prayer every night. No, Tristan. Not your group activities. Your prayer times. When am I supposed to have time to pray uh, alone? I, I'm keeping up with the whole organization. I'm doing my homework. I'm like brushing my teeth and taking showers. I'm trying to stay regular. I'm trying to graduate. What more does he expect of me? How are your prayer times, Kevin? Don't be offended. I just want to know how your prayer times are going. How are your prayer times going, Kevin? I don't... Really? Seriously? Let's not go there. I would like to go there. Have my, you had time to pray my, alone? My, how is your fasting in? I pray about fasting all the time. Well, do you ever do it? Sometimes. Hmm. Well, <laughs> how's simplicity going for you? How simple can one person be? How silence? You have you worked on silence? That's pretty good. Tristan, I'm just wondering how your prayer times are going. Emery, go wondering... start the car. We're leaving. I, 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 how are your prayer times, Kevin? I'm leaving. <laughs> Calm down, Tristan. I hate seeing you like that. We've seen so many successes. We're praying every day. What more can I do? You're doing great. Hey, let's go out and catch a movie or something. I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm just mad. Hey, look at me. <laughs> Chose to be this group and me. Don't let the devil take that from you. 
this way of calming me down. You're welcome. Now you know what I'm talking about. It was so much. It was so much better, you know. But you know, you gotta have students play some parts, so we understand, you know. <laughs> hey, we will be right back after these messages, everybody. I guess you just wanna need it. Yeah. Really, really nice to be I'm, here. I'm happy. I'm really this. happy to be talking yeah. about the show. Um, coming into this year, it was like the brainchild of all of us. Uh, what's it like working with Joe? Um, well, that's a little. That's a little hard to describe. Um, I Get think the camera out of my face. What are you the doing? editors have done a great job of making him relatable on camera. Jojo, um, he's one of the harder people I've had to work with in, uh, in my day. He's not the easiest. Wait a second. He's here. He's here. You have to get me out. I'm probably the best person you'd want to work with because I had an assistant once. He was terrible. Yeah, I, um, I used to be his personal assistant, but he just started attacking me with his words. Yeah, one time he made me, uh, paint his cat's toenails, like, pink, and then he made me clip his own, and then I flossed his teeth. So, yeah. 
sucks if I hurt, but you know, what can you do? So, just so you know that I'm number one, I'm the main host. time for my very favorite segment on the early evening show that we've ever done. We're bringing it back tonight again for a new segment or an old segment called Wax On, Wax Off! Yeah. Wax On! on wax off is a trivia game Woo! calm down oh yeah oh no you can cheer that's fine that's fine wax on wax off is a trivia game where our contestants will get ten dollars for every question that they correctly answer but for every question that they miss they'll unfortunately have a portion of their chest hair waxed off but here's the twist your best friend is going to answer the question for you so Raymond who's your best friend Wade, who's your best friend? Aww. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to start this microphone. And uh, categories are Malaysian government officials, <laughs> sports, lesser known Nobel Prize winners, Zimbabwe hyperinflation, pop culture, um, short words defined, Monastic Affairs of Bataan, Mammals Native to South America, and Music. And did someone say potpourri? I get to choose the categories for you. That's the only twist. So, uh, uh, first question for Raymond Mendoza here, and the category is going to be Mammals Native to South America. All right, Noe. During which time period did capybaras live in the southern United States? Shh. Late 1800s. No, that's not mm. actually. It was the um, the answer. Was, the actual actual answer is the Pleistocene, the Pleistocene area uh, ice age, or we would have even taken the Quaternary gla glaciation. You were close. Uh, it's time to time to wax. Let's do the back. Can we do the back? Yeah. Come on, turn it around, baby. <laughs> I've never done this before, so I have no idea what kind of torture I'm putting up there. Girls, girls do this every day. I mean, some, some of them. Okay, girls don't do this. I don't know who does this. Uh, all right, here we go. We're going to let it dry. Okay, while he's getting dried. Actually, yes, let's go on to the second category. This one's going to be a little bit easier, okay? Second category is Malaysian government officials. So I'm asking, who is it? After the formation of Malaysia on September 16th, 1963, this man, the chief minister of the Federation of Malaysia, became the prime minister of Malaysia. <laughs> Donald Trump? Yeah. <laughs> is that the right answer? Ooh. No, that would be Tanuk Adul Rahman. So uh, time to, first round, Neither nobody's got any points yet. Let's wax that man. And why, are we ready to go in here? Okay, he's gonna turn around. Let's see, I've never tried this before. 
His friend is going to help him wax. Do it fast. Oh! Woo! Wow. Oh! That makes me cringe. I don't cringe easy. Raymond, you're going to be loving this. I, you might even get to own one of these one day. It's, it's easier than shaving. <laughs> yeah, you got to see this. This is, this, this is great. That's so Amazing. gross. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, uh, well, Ooh. let's go on to the third category. I, I know you guys are going to get one of these. I mean, I just have a feeling. Next category is lesser-known Nobel Prize winners. <laughs> Question is... Which Nobel Prize winner once wrote lyrics to French pop star Francois Hardy's contributing to the song of Etonne Moué, Benoit, and San Salvador? King Henry. Oh, I'm so sorry. That would be Patrick Modiano. So sorry. All right. Is it time to uh, pull the wax here? Let's pull the wax and see. You can, you can do it, ladies. No, it's ready. Okay. Come on. You just gotta come in. Do you want me to do it? No, you have to now. This is what uh, true love looks like. Well, all right. Uh, oh, what's that sound? Double trouble. Oh. Hmm. Double trouble is uh, a place. When... I don't know that I can do this. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, double, double the trouble wax strips, is. Double the money. So it, double it, the wax strips, double the money. Okay, so it's double the wax strips or double the money. Would you, do you want to choose or decline? You want to do it? Decline or do? Do. All right, he's he's choosing double trouble. With his track record so far, um, okay. All right, so this will be two waxes or twenty dollars. Okay. Fourth category is short words defined. Easy, okay. easy one. Defined. Easy. Question is, a cirque, especially one in the mountains of Wales, is a... It's a short word. Again? It's a short word. A cirque, especially one found in the mountains of Wales, is a... Uh, um, oh, this is great. Um... <laughs> A cat. No, it's not a cat. The proper word would a, is a coom. 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 Yeah, spell coom. All right, let's wax him up. All right, let's see how Raymond Mendoza is over here on his last. All right, brother. You're going to help him wax? Or are you going to help him or? That's what friends are for, getting the wax off our backs. Here, hold my hand. Oh, you got this. Wow. Got you did good. Man, you're better than the girls at this, no way. Do you do this often? No, not really. I not should. You should? I should you? Okay. Well, okay. All right. This next one, uh, Noe, is... Don't look at my cards. He's trying to find the answers. Next category is Zimbabwean hyperinflation. It's my favorite one. Now, guys, this is recent, so this one you should know. About this time in 2008, in the height of its inflation, currency in Zimbabwe is estimated to have inflated by how much percent? 12.8%. Close, but 79.6 billion. <laughs> Ooh, wax them up. All right, let's double trouble this. You can do this. Oh! Woo-hoo! He's got, like, teeth now. Woo! Double trouble. Mercy. 
Mercy. Smiley face? Let's do that. All right, so uh, this next category. <laughs> you know what that sound means? No, potpourri. It's not double trouble. Potpourri. Potpourri. Potpourri is our randomized selector, which will now pick a, a random category. So let's go ahead and see which category you're going to get. Yes. Oh. So sorry. <laughs> the next category is monast uh, monastic affairs in Bataan. Question is, what is the name of the commission of the monastic affairs of Bataan? What is the name of the commission for the monastic affairs in Bataan? Uh, the commission for the monastic affairs of Bataan. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually called the Dreshang Lingchok. Dretching Lingshok. <laughs> All right, let's wax him up. All right, let's see if we got a. How much? How you doing? You hanging in there? Going. Oh, we're, we're going, going somewhere. We're okay, going turn somewhere. turn around. Let's see it. Well, is it dried already? Is it dried? Oh, there it is. All right, Noe, oh, you were the best. Huge. You were the best. Oh man, so soft. You were smooth. <laughs> I shaved his back once in Africa. Yeah. Oh! It's like watching torture. Oh my god! Come on, Noah, you you're you're shooting four for nothing. Oh, it's like a, oh, oh, like friends, friends like that, friends like that. We're getting so close. Is he bleeding? Am I bleeding? Is he bleeding? No. Well, no, he's just really red. Okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> well, that was actually Wait, all of our, like all of our questions. So, um, let's give it up for our contestants on Wax On, Wax Off. Wait. Oh, we let's, first we got to peel this. Hey, that didn't hurt so bad. That wasn't too bad. It didn't even hurt right there. You know what? These, these guys were such good sports. I'm going to go ahead and give them all $60 right here. Ladies, give that to them. Let's give it up for our contestants for Wax On! Wax Off, everybody! Wax On! Wax On! You know what, Ben? I, I now realize why we only did like <clears throat> three of those last time. Yeah. Maybe next time uh, in four years. Let's give it up for Monarch, and uh, we'll be back right after these messages. You really got me now. You got me so I don't know where I'm going. Girl, you really got me now. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Girl, you really got me now. We have Pastor Tom from Happy United Methodist, and then this is Carrie. You may have seen her. She leads worship here, Mikey's wife. And uh, how much experience would you say you two have in, in video game playing? A negative two. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> today we're going to be playing Super Smash Brothers. Uh, we're basically going to let you pick whatever character that you want, and then you'll be pitted in a fight to the death. So, oh, sounds fun. <laughs> we're gonna. I'll, I'll show y'all each character, and we'll see what y'all think. So, look at the red box there. So we got Mario. Oh, he's the best. So he's familiar. Yeah, Mario might be the only one you're real familiar with. Zero suit Samos. So this is that's that's the lady, and this is her without the suit. 
I know that we dated a girl like that one time. Oh yeah. I like to be this little girl with pink hair. That looks a lot like you. Who really thinks of all this? It's got to be warped and warped minded to come up with some of this stuff. So Pastor Tom is duck hunt. So he's that dog and duck. Okay, which one's best? Um. It's to the death. Charizard. We, yeah, I think it, this is going to be a short day. Yeah. It does look a little... How about if I just throw him a towel? <laughs> <laughs> you know, why? Where's, this, you know, what did where's you your... The Where where's your passion? Where's... <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here's good a complicated call. special move, too. Well, you picked a hard character. Oh, well, you didn't tell me that when it started. <laughs> <laughs> That was ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> you really mistreated me, Carrie. I'm sorry. You need a new character. She's a so, Tom, I think a good one for you would probably be Kirby. Yeah. Kirby. He's a little pink puffball. A little pink puffball. Oh, I don't Hey, Tom, so here's a little secret. You yeah. can use this yellow one when you're up closer hey, and you hit her harder. What is that thing that I keep So, making? I like that Carrie does the thing where when she's trying to go a direction, she's moving her controller <laughs> over with her hands. Oh, you, oh, you, you ate hair. me! Now you have her hair. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. Oh, he did the rock! He did the rock! That's what I was talking about. That's that's your secret move there. Yeah, I mean to do that? I don't know, did you? <laughs> I think we should play against somebody really good now. See how we hold up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we can do like a, we can do a 2v1. Okay, so before y'all do anything, I'm going to jump off twice so that I only have one lie. Don't go easy on us here. Oh, I'm not. I won't, I won't go easy. Pros. We're oh my gosh, y'all are way better thing. than I thought you would be. Yeah, we are. Oh! <laughs> What's my character saying? She says her name. She says Jigglypuff. <laughs> That's what I think about saying when I'm in the middle of a fight. Carrie! <laughs> yeah! Oh, Carrie! Golly, that was almost it. That was so close. I'm dead. Yay! Tom got me. <laughs> yeah! Good Tom job. Got me. So, after playing some Smash Brothers, well, what would y'all rate this game? Um, maybe a three. I'll go three. The Wesley Academy is a beautiful thing. It's this missionary internship program designed for fresh college graduates uh, to continue learning more and more about ministry as they are waist deep in ministry here at the WT Wesley Foundation. When students graduate from college, there, there can be this harsh gap between where they see themselves and them being a, a, a pastor of a Methodist church, them being an ordained elder. It's easy for them maybe to see themselves leading a Bible study or mentoring younger students, but it's difficult to see themselves pastoring a congregation. This program is meant to be an in-between that can help students discern that call to ministry in their lives that they may not be able to fully realize in themselves right now. The first thing that we do is we pair up every single mission staff intern with a local Methodist church. Being this in-between stage, hopefully from coming out of school to pursuing ministry full-time, uh, we want to make sure that each student gets their feet into a church and that they can be a part of that community, soaking up that experience, um, while hopefully at the same time bringing some of their passion and some of their energy into the local church, helping out with things, and hopefully not making too many mistakes. Thank <laughs> you.
it is the thing is the Monday before Thanksgiving, and I love to be thankful. Aren't you guys thankful for all the things you've been given? Woo, kind of. That's awesome. Well, this is the time of year I like to kind of catch up on uh, all my you know messages, Facebook messages, text messages, and uh, emails, and uh, also my thank you notes. I, I hope you guys wouldn't mind if I wrote a few right now. Would you guys? Would you guys mind if I did that? Do we have any thank you note writing music? Maybe Riley over there. Man, wow, wow. Riley, he seems so... Very somber. Very somber, very serious. I mean, you know, you're just in high school, man. It's like the world is your oyster, you know? And, you know, things, things, things can be get, get better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. DC Cinematic Universe Aquaman for basically giving us a 2018 version of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> what? What? Anybody else see that? No? <laughs> First time I saw the preview, I was like, that is Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> all grown up. They're all grown up. That's what they became. <laughs> They became the, the, the captains of the seas. <laughs> Thank you. New ag complex. Once again, you've outdone yourself by giving us yet another state-of-the-art building, and yet no new parking spots. Oh, oh, savage. <laughs> you know that's right. You know that's right. We're going to do it. We're going to. I swear. I swear we're going to. It's the next on our list. That's what you said last time. <laughs> you have legs. You can walk. We don't have a parking problem. We have a walking problem. <laughs> yeah, nice of you to say you got a parking spot. <laughs> Thank you, Democrat senatorial candidate Beto. Nice move. You almost won the election playing on our subconscious desire for spicy ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Close one. <laughs> Close one. <clears throat> we all like the spicy ketchup, right? You know what I'm saying. Man, everybody's going to want to go to Whataburger after this tonight. It's world famous. Wonder Woman will be there. It's going to be great. <laughs> Water, water woman. Water woman. She water woman. What a woman. That's what I call Carrie. Water woman. That's water woman right there. Thank you, Fortnite dances, for providing, proving yet again that white people just can't dance. <laughs> That one. Oh, there he is. <laughs> but, but you know, honestly, thank you, Fortnite, for, for helping white people to dance. You know, we're trying. Someone's got to teach us. Right, we're trying. <laughs> Thank you, Ponies Burritos, for providing a place for Cooper to eat. Every day, every meal, sometimes twice for the same meal. I mean, holy cow, look at that boy. That boy is a consumer of many burritos. Thank you, <clears throat> John John and Mariah Davis, for going with Carrie and I to an escape room called Netflix and Kill. <laughs> sorry, it got a little awkward there. Carrie and I thought it said Netflix and Chill. So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> it's weird. I don't, like, what, what is this escape room all about? We got to get out of here. That's weird. She's probably red. You should poke her. Poke her right now. Just poke her. Poke her. Look at her. Everyone look at her. Watch that. 
But just look at that. Look at it. Why don't you just look at it? Thank you, cow cuddling, for helping us to hug the meat we'd like to eat. Hugging the meat that we want to eat. Oh, no, no. Stop I think that. we're uh, we're kind of beating a dead um, a dead cow. <laughs> oh, I like to hold oh, me, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Sandal socks. No. <laughs> what? For being like emo gloves for the feet. <laughs> really <like> this. <laughs> so, uh, this next one. It's dear to my heart. Thank you, Caper Nick. Or was it Cape on Nick? <laughs> Not a staged photo. That is not fake news. <laughs> not staged. That's Nick in his natural habitat. And for $300, you can hug Nick. Um, <laughs> Are you calling him a cow? Pay me. <laughs> I like to hug. Hug to me. You like to hug Nick. Hug. Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Go I want to hug you. No, you. You guys just need to stop that. <laughs> Riling me up like that. Thank you, presidential alert. <laughs> now every, time, every American with a cell phone can be up to date on any emergency at any time. But why did you send me an alert saying, at 2 a.m., you up? <laughs> Did you get that one? Did you get that one? I, I did. did. You got that one? Yeah. <laughs> well, I got one just said, uh, send pics. What? <laughs> From the president? That's fake news. <laughs> That's fake news. That's not real. Oh, that, no. You didn't get this alert from the president. I felt special. What was it? It went away. I don't even know. I, I think we all felt a little special, maybe. Did you? I did, a little bit. Anybody else feel special? Got an alert? You got like, your own personal, <laughs> personal alert? Thank you, Canyon Earthquake of 2018. Man, you really shook us up. What? You didn't, you didn't like that one? No, everyone loved it. I mean, you didn't. You didn't like. They didn't. They didn't like that one. They didn't like. They're making fun of me now. No, everyone. No, everyone loves you, Mikey. No, they don't. They don't love me. They just. They just. They're making fun of me. No, everyone, no, dumb. Let, just, let him know. Let him know how much you love it. You love that joke. That's a good one, right? Do they like you? Yes! 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 Saxophone every now and then. Yeah! Ho, 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 hey! Stop. 
weird. It's just, it's just weird. Why do we even do that? Why do we right. do that kind of crap? Why do we do that? What is it going to? What is he always? He's always dancing. <laughs> dancing, doing weird we stuff play Fortnite. with his hands. <laughs> He's hugging me. Hugging me. No, we're not going there. <laughs> no. Hug <laughs> me. Done. That was so done. <laughs> Thank you, David Cochran, who got baptized a few weeks ago for believing in something, even if you have to have an Olympic-sized swimming pool to show it. <laughs> I'm telling you, me and Rick, we baptize this guy. I mean, I usually lunge, right, when I'm baptizing. I do the lunge. I think Rick kind of does the, this thing. You know, oh, there's a lot of different techniques of to baptism. But with this guy, we had to lunge. <laughs> and then I had to put it in first gear. And I was looking at Rick. I'm like, I don't think this one's actually going to die in the water. <laughs> this one's not just dying with Christ and getting resurrected. This one is just dying. <laughs> we got in first gear. and oh, We got him back up. <laughs> we made it. We made it through. We survived. I should say David survived. Pause. It's our last one. It's our last thing. Last thing, you know. Thank you, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner, for shutting down the Houston brothel and putting a state stop to fake nudes. No fake nudes. <laughs> oh, that was just rough. That's just too bad. <laughs> no fake nudes. <clears throat> None, no fake nudes. Well, you know, as a campus pastor, I am so, I have seen so many people come through the ministry over the years, uh, and 17, 17 years. 17 years. 17 years I've been in ministry now. And, uh, you know, it's great to see what all you guys become and stuff like that, but I, I want to say I can, I, can, I can almost take a look at a picture of you and tell where you're going to end up. It's I like, like a this, superpower. It's like a su superpower, like a prophetic power. There's so many of you guys that are destined to so many great things. I can look at a picture and say, this guy, he's going to end up being something special. And uh, so now it's time for Wesley Superlatives, everybody. Wesley Superlatives. Oh, yeah. 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 That's all you got to do in the 90s. Yeah. yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. This first one is uh, Miranda and Billy. <clears throat> and just by looking at this picture, I'd say they're most likely to have a cocaine deal go bad. <laughs> this next one here. A bunch of dudes in the pool. Uh, Hayden's the first one right there in the middle there. And I, I, that face. Um, I'd say these guys are most likely to a go gay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think they went. You, you guys all went to a go gay, right? Yeah. What? What's what is a go gay? Oh, it's like this Greek word that means uh, you know like hey, we're Spartans, we're like tough. So it's, why didn't you just call it men's conference? Well, it is a men's conference, but see, you got to understand, the Spartans would, like, kick their babies off a mountain if they weren't tough enough, and they had to go gay, you know, go gay, you know, and... <laughs> All right. <laughs> burn. So burn. Okay, well, let's move on. Okay, now, this next one here is uh, Cam Smith. Oh! <laughs> 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 Who is most likely to be confused for Dwight Schrute? <laughs> it's in your future. You got a big future ahead of you, Cam. It's great. This next one here is Matt Winton. Oh. Oh. Who we believe is most likely to become a widowed librarian. <laughs> Did you check your books in? <laughs> That's gonna be you a fine. Have a life <laughs> <laughs> this next one is of Byron Roberts. <laughs> who, according to this picture, I believe is most likely to become, uh, to, to marry a widowed librarian. 
Hey. He was been, been checking out more than books. My books are late, but I like to party. <laughs> They're a roommate. This next one here is uh, Jacob Camp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Who is most likely to totally miss the shot. Like, <laughs> 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 Now, maybe he's shooting at a different basket. It's over maybe there. he's shooting, yeah, that way. He's <laughs> shooting at that one. Trick I'm shot. Like, <laughs> faking out and shooting that way. <laughs> um, this next one it might be my favorite one. Um, <laughs> this is Alyssa Kinzer here, and uh, she's mo most likely to ring the bells of Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Listen, she's... <laughs> she's not totally moto, she's just quasi-moto. It's, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> just just quasi-moto. Just quasi <laughs> this next one of Kayla Moody. We, we all love Kayla Moody. <laughs> she's either most likely to direct traffic or, or to start singing Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> what a woman. <clears throat> Another one of Nick Clifton. He, he got it twice. Uh, what the? Is that Nick? Most likely to shave his lady legs. What the heck? Uh, zoom in on that. What the heck is what? happening? <laughs> Nick Clifton, where are you? When did you get lady legs? Wait. That's not Nick Clifton. That's Savannah. Oh. That's Savannah's legs and arms, and that's Nick Clifton's head. Did you guys have surgery? <laughs> it's a, it's a quasi Nick. <laughs> I don't know. Siamese. Um, this next one's a really good one. This is Liz Milo. Yeah. <laughs> Who, by the look of it, is most likely to. Ow. 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 Get that away from me. <laughs> Yeah. Ow. Boys? Yeah. Ow. Next one is uh, Brad and Hiro. Oh. <laughs> wow. Look at the way he's just looking at Brad. You, you want to find someone in your life to marry that looks at you like that. Anyway. That's what you want in life, is someone to look at you like that. It's like he's licking his lips or something. He's like, he's very interested. <laughs> Second most likely to uh, go gay. <laughs> Go to a men's conference together and get sharpened spiritually. What is wrong with you people? <clears throat> Don't go there yet, but <laughs> this one's last for a reason. <clears throat> this next one's uh, Lizzie Barber. <laughs> who is most likely to get arrested for doing yoga in a judgment-free zone. <laughs> oh, no. And that's all the time we have for Wesley Superlatives, everybody. Hey guys, we will be right back after these messages. You're on our turf now, Feathers. Big mistake. Sometimes this job can be difficult. 
but not all the time. Some of us don't want to do this forever. Me? I love this job. Everyone thinks our job is intense all the time. But really, they're just looking at the highlight reels. What am I going to do after all of this? Modeling. <laughs> Obviously. Seriously, I've really considered stand-up. But if I'm really dreaming, I want to be a jazz dancer one day. Well, when we don't have a whole lot of influx of angels running around here, I call them feathers. It's kind of, it's kind of boring. We tend to get a little distracted. Hey, welcome Bye. to the Wesley. Uh, you don't remember me, do you? Yeah, I do. Rob. Rob? Todd. Todd? Ricky. Ricky. Bob. Bob? Mike. Nah, yeah, I don't think I really care, so I'm just gonna leave now. Some of the things I do, I like to keep the janitor frustrated. No, 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 come on, be bad. No, 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 come on, be bad, be bad. No, 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 be naughty. Some of us like to make the people eat the naughty stuff. Um, oh, had the fudge. The banana fudge sundae. Double it, Oh, um, double. The double. Double. Recently, we've been messing with these kids at Bounders. I just can't believe I'm out of memes. It's really, really, really Your annoying. Your life's a meme. You don't need to think about it. What, what's it over? But like, um, it's Wait, what was it? That, it's not Watergate, and I don't know. I can't. My scene is over. Super cool. Y'all see that? It's happening. <laughs> this is about this is just... meme about fruit snacks. What is happening? Guys, I know what this is. What is it? It's a ghost. No. What? What? No. We are not ghosts. We're demons. Anytime you see someone trip, that's us. Really hoping that soon I'll be top demon. Guys, look how scary I look. With me today, one of my favorite guys in all the world. His name is Travis Bennett. He's the pastor of First, uh, not First United, St. Stephen United Methodist Church in Amarillo, my home church. Let's give it up for Travis Bennett, everybody. Thank you. I'm gonna slip back through here. Cowboy. It's good. You a cowboy? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yippee ki yay. <laughs> John John told us you like a lot of uh, cowboy stuff. I do. Um, so you're an Avengers fan, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. yeah. Now his wife, Tracy, she's out there yeah, somewhere. She's over and there. she is a teacher here at Canyon. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. My wife got them for me. Oh. Yeah. Nice. She um, picks out all my socks. Yeah. 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 Mine doesn't. 
I'm sorry. She's joking. <laughs> uh, Tracy is actually a teacher at the high school, and she decorated her room in a lot of your paintings. Yeah. So you're, you're also an, a, a painter as well as, a, as yeah. a, an Avenger fan. Yeah. And uh, we actually have some of those pictures um, of these paintings that are hanging all around her room. Yeah. I wish I would have zoomed in on that one. I'm so sorry. Um, but these are some really sick paintings that are just awesome. All around the room, all the kids, they love Tracy. And, uh, and probably the first day when they walked into school, they're like, dude, I like, I like this lady. She likes the Avengers. I'm cool with her. So what do you think is going to happen in Infinity Wars? Oh, man. Yeah. Gosh. What do you think? I mean, they're not going to mess it up like DC did. You no, no, know, they so won't do that. so much CGI and stuff. No, it's going to be good. Uh, we're probably going to say goodbye to Captain America. He's probably going to be gone, unfortunately. Hey, listen, uh, we all die sometime. Yeah, we do. We do. But America will live on. You know, Bucky will probably take his place. Yeah. Uh, that kind of thing. So, That's yeah, it'll be good. Captain Marvel will be in it. Uh, she's probably going to be the leader of the next mm -hmm. generation of Avengers. That so, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it does. That it really makes sense. does. Yeah. And Ant-Man sometime, somehow is going to do a time warp loop thingy and, yes. and take them all back. Yes. yes. And then all the guys whose contracts are up will go away. And That's right. It's like, well, I'm done here. I'm done saving the world. My contract's up. That's how it works. So that's how, that's how it works. Speaking of contracts being up, no, just joking. Um, <laughs> uh, pastoring is not a contract. So let me ask you this. How did you get into pastoring? And what would you say to some young bucks about pastoring? What's, what's it actually like being a pastor? Yeah, so, uh, you know, being a pastor, it's one of those things to where you don't really decide to be one, you know, uh, you feel something in worship, you feel something when you're gathered with the church, you're serving God out in the world somewhere, and then you just feel like, this is so right, I want to do more of this, and uh, for myself, you know, it was just when I was 17, I was still in high school, just this overwhelming desire to to serve god but i kept that kind of a secret mm -hmm. i kept having these weird you know dreams about being a pastor and um you know i started dating my wife we're high school sweethearts so yeah. yeah um she just basically said you need to talk to a pastor you need to talk to my pastor so i went to talk to him uh he said you know what there's nothing like a youth ministry to help you figure out if you're called to ministry or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So would you like to be my youth pastor? And uh, I said, yes. And, uh, you know, loved working with students. I, I, I see it as one of those things to where, oh, wow, you, you just want to help people know Christ. And so you, you be you, and you preach the gospel, live the gospel, model the gospel, conversation, action, uh, have fun, much like we're doing tonight, uh, go out in the world, do some, th some things that would make the world a better place, be good to your neighbor, be good to one another, that kind of thing. And so, uh, you know, just watching kids go through this and then grow up and, and you know, become who God wants them to be. So mm -hmm. that's, I guess that's one of the biggest joys of it is seeing somebody start out new or young in the faith or become a brand new Christian and watch them grow and mature in their faith. And I think that's that's what keeps me going, is to see somebody surrender to Christ and grow up and become something just amazing for God. Totally. My mic just went out. Um, that's awesome. Uh, what was, what's the funniest thing that's happened to you in ministry? Like, what, what's kind of your, your thing? What's, what's the funny thing that happens? Well, I don't know if I should share this just for the fact that if I do, I'm afraid people will do it to me here at St. Stephen. And so... There's nobody from, Is there anybody from St. Stephen here? Oh, yeah. What? Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. Shh. I'm, no, I mean, no, right? I'm right? really nervous about this, but um, I scare really easily, like jump scare stuff. And, um, you know, it seems like everywhere I go, youth ministry, churches, seminary, all of this there's always somebody who finds this out and they look for ways to scare me. So for example, when I you know, was a youth pastor years ago, these teenage boys knew that I was scared and they talked me into going deep into the country with them to this uh, secluded farmhouse that was abandoned. And so they, how did they get you into that? <laughs> they basically told my wife, hey, well, you've got to help us to get Travis in this pickup, whatever you got to do. And so she basically said, get in the pickup. And she slammed the door. I thought she was getting in with me. And she slammed the door and they took off. And she was just there in the parking lot. And I'm like, wait, my wife. And they're like, no, we don't need her. We're going. 
And You're I'm, being initiated. Yes, I felt that way, and they took me out into the middle of nowhere. They had this house rigged with jump scares. They had people hidden behind things. They had this guy who was in the closet, and they had a rocking chair with a doll sitting in it, and the guy was pulling on a fishing line you couldn't <laughs> see, and I was trying to play it cool at first, um, but, you know, they would take me down hallways, uh, but the thing that got me was this house was was built like in the 20s and 30s, and so the walls are super thin, and somebody uh, reached through the wall and grabbed me. Oh, and so, oh my gosh. Uh, like broke through the wall? Yeah, it, like easy. It's like paper. And so oh I remember saying words that you cannot say in church. <laughs> And I remember running out the door and threatening to quit. So You're like, I'm done yeah, with youth ministry. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, my wife, she likes to play jokes on me all the time. Uh, when we were in seminary, I, I worked a job that was a seasonal job at a golf course. I was a maintenance crew guy, and it was really cold. I'll never forget, it was one spring break. Uh, we were working long days, and all I wanted to do when I got home was I just wanted to take a hot bath and just sit there and soak. And so she wasn't home yet. She's a school teacher. She wasn't home. Uh, her job was far away from where we lived, and so it took her like an hour and a half to get home. And um, I, I just decided I'm going to come into the house, and I'm a really kind of private person. You know, I go into the bathroom and lock the door. You know, I take my clothes off behind closed doors. But I figured since nobody was home, and it's our little apartment anyway, so I just, I was nasty, dirty, so I just took clothes off as I walked in the door and just all laid my dirty clothes the entryway and walked through the house completely without apparel. And um, <laughs> I go into the bathroom, and I begin to turn on the water. And I'm having to reach way over <laughs> to turn the water on. Downward dog. Yeah, down. Yes, exactly. Downward dog. And so I'm, I'm in a very... Was it a judgment-free zone? It or? is not a judgment-free zone. It was... It was a vulnerable place, yeah. Um, yeah. and so I am uh, reaching to turn the water on, and out of nowhere, my wife came into the house, and she saw my clothes there at the door and heard the bath water, and so she decided to play a trick on me, and she sneaks into the bathroom behind me as I am bent over trying to turn the water <laughs> on and test the temperature. And with an icy, cold hand of death, she reaches <laughs> behind and grabs me. And I screamed so loud that it, it, propel, it propelled me into the tub and into the wall on the other side. And these are apartments. And so when I hit the wall so hard and I was screaming so loud... The neighbors, some good friends of ours, Jeff and Christine were their names, uh, they thought that I had fallen and hurt myself. And so they called 911. <laughs> no joke. And they came over to check on me. And so oh my gosh. Uh, I just let her explain. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> and so ever since then, people just try to jump out and scare me and do crazy things to me. Yeah. So, yeah. But they hadn't caught on to that at St. Stephen. Nor yeah. will they. <laughs> oh, goodness. See, there we go. I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I got me a great idea coming up. <clears throat> it has nothing to do with this at all. Let me ask you a question, sure. Travis. Do you like to play games? I love to play games. Would you like to play a game with me? I would love to play a game with you, Mikey. Travis Bennett and I are about to play a game. We're about to face off in a game of Box of Lies. Box of Lies. Box of Lies. Everybody knows it. it's a Box of Lies. Box of lies, box of lies. I wonder what's gonna be in that box of lies. I'm gonna change my batteries out here for a second. Are we up? There we go. Okay. All right. All right. Let me grab my little note cards. Where'd they go? Oh, they're on. The, oh, they're hiding from me on Travis's side. I've never played this game before, so today we're going to play a new game. Okay. I can see just your nose. <laughs> Here's how it works. <clears throat> Upstage are a bunch of boxes containing objects neither of us have ever seen before. <laughs> Taking turns, we are going to take a box, open it up on our side of the table, out of view of the other person, remove the object from the box, show it to the audience, 
Then look at our opponent and tell them what's in the box. We might be lying or we might be telling the truth. Our opponent will have to guess either truth or lie. If, if we guess correctly, we get a point. If we guess wrong, our opponent gets a point. First to three points wins. Travis, you're our guest, so, t- so You're also tonight. not allowed to look at the screen back there. All right, so because we Because we have to show everyone else. Just so look at each look other. At the screens. Okay. So, you choose first. Okay. I heard, I heard number five. Number five. So, I'm going to take number five. Okay. I'm not looking. Okay, I'm opening the box. I am reaching inside. All right, I believe you. I believe you so far. Oh, wow. You know, this is amazing. (laughs) This is crazy that you guys have budget money for this kind of stuff. This is, this is amazing. Um, I was actually going to get... I was going to get my kids this for Christmas. It's, it's one of the, I think it's one of the hottest selling toys that is out there today. Uh, it is uh, multicolored. Mm-hmm. It uh, is various shapes. Mm-hmm. Um, it is something that you would really enjoy putting on a shelf and keeping it there. And you would look at it often. Uh, and then you would want to play with it too. And whenever your friends would come over, oh my goodness, you could get a, like a party of maybe you know five people and play this game. It it's is game. awesome. It's yes. A game. Hmm. Travis Bennett, you lie. <sighs> you are correct, sir. <laughs> oh man. I I do not know what I this is. I saw one of those. I saw one of those eyeballs in my house this week. I had no idea what it was. Oh. Did you sneak that into my house? No. Yes. That's weird. Ooh, okay. All right, which, uh, mm, that's a point for me. Okay, which box should I get? Three? I'm gonna go with three. I see a lot of three. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Wow. It's a heavy box, okay. Travis. Okay. You can tell by the way my muscles were bulging just now. Yes. Well. This is, may or may not be, it is a, you know those ladies that hang out all the time with the red hats? Yes. You know, the Red Hat Ladies. What do they call yes. them? The Red Hats? Yeah, the Red Hat Red Society. Hat. Yeah. The Red Hat Society? Yeah. Um, there are a group of four of the Red Hat Society ladies made of googly eyes and teeth. Hmm. Hmm. Googly eyes and teeth. Wow. Goodness. You know, you when you squint, you kind of look like Clint Eastwood. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good. Mm. I want to believe you. Mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like you have that kind of face. Yeah. I think you're lying to me. I tell you the truth. Oh man. Oh, gosh. That's two points for me. Wow. He's so good at this game. I've never played this game before. I feel so privileged to have played with you. Two points, you gotta catch up. I heard seven. I'm gonna go with seven. I'm gonna go with seven. Seven's a good number, it's a lucky number. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna go with seven. Yeah, right here. Okay. I'm not gonna look. Oh, that one is heavy. Barbells. (laughs) Barbells. <laughs> Ooh, I heard that. I heard that. Mm-hmm. That's serious. That's serious business right there. It is heavy. Mm-hmm. Very heavy. Okay. All right. I'm reaching into the box. I'm pulling it out. Oh wow. Okay. This is. Uh, I almost saw it. I'm not looking. This I'm just... is a. Um, well, you know, 
Some people might consider this to be an item that you would, um, well, in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. In the Carib or Caribbean, the depending Caribbean. on where okay. you're from. Uh, they practice something called voodoo down there. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's these dolls. And sometimes they make the doll look like a person, okay. a very specific person. And they want you to uh, practice your witchcraft on them. So you would, you would do things to the doll mm -hmm. to get it to do certain certain things okay okay um i i think that this one this one actually shines when you push a button there's there's light uh, it's flickering it's flashing i think you could make this this doll dance if you wanted it to okay um yeah i i it's got a person's face on it i think it's a the face that's on it now is someone that you know very well, someone that you probably uh, enjoy kissing and talking to uh, hmm. quite often. Carrie or Macy or Eli or... Well, you know, or, or you know... I, I'm trying not to look. I almost saw something. I, I, I feel like you're the kind of guy, you know, that would really value this, this voodoo doll. Uh, I think that it would be something that you would be proud to own. Voodoo. Man, we've covered the whole gambit tonight. Yes. We're into voodoo now? Yes. You know what, Travis, I think you're lying to me. I am telling the truth. No, it's me! Yes. Just to be clear, I've never kissed myself. I'm pretty positive. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, man. We're, okay, so we got two, two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Four? One? Five? It's a top shelf. Okay, all right. Um, in here, inside the contents of this box. is a Wesley Academy intern who has been pinched by various paper clips and has glue on her eyes. It's been pinched, paper clips, glue on the eyes, Wesley in turn. Mm -hmm. Mikey, I think you're telling the truth. Kind of, but I'm actually lying. Oh. Because her eyes aren't glued shut. Oh, man. So Does that count? Close. Is that, is that? Man. Does that count? Oh. You can't tell a half truth? The best truth is, all right, fine. All right, the score is two to two. Okay. All right. Yay. Thank All right. you. This is the moment right here. All right. Okay. okay. This is going to be the tiebreaker. Okay. Okay. No half truths. Okay. Fine. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Four. 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 Eight. Four. Okay. I, I, there's a lot of fours up in the room. I'm going to go with four. Four. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Wow. It's kind of, let's see. It always feel better. Ooh, and interesting. Reaching it. into the box. Mm -hmm. I have just discovered <laughs> a, another, um, another box. And inside this box, it's, it's a beautiful box. It's one that you would want to keep and probably use mm -hmm. to re-gift. You okay. could re-gift this box over and over again. But inside the box, uh, well, um, this is something that you would probably... Uh, you would, let's just say, if you were sneezing a lot, you would okay. not want to take this medicine, okay? Um, if you went into coughing fits, this, this medicine would probably mess you over. Okay, um, all right. As a matter of fact, you know, I, it's laxatives, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm just going to tell you, it's a box of laxative within a box that is beautiful. Yeah. That might be the most profound thing I've ever heard. Yes, it is. It's a quite box deep. of laxative inside yes. of a box. That's beautiful. Yes. 
considering we've talked about the pooper intended. Yeah. Travis, are you lying to me? <laughs> here's the beautiful box, and here's the laxatives. Oh, he got me! Oh, man, let's give it up for Travis Bennett yes, thank and the you. Box of Lies! Thank you, thank you guys. All right. <laughs> We'll be right back after these messages, everybody. Fusion is the on-ramp to, to get into the Wesley. Grow is a place where we grow spiritually. Uh, resource teams are the ones that make everything happen that you see. Guest Care strives to make sure that every single guest at Two Post feels seen, welcome, and part of our family. The prayer team prays over people at two posts and prays over the prayer requests after two posts. When you're on the events team with the Wesley, what we do is we help the staff plan the events. We do fifth quarter dances, we do the dance till dead days, and we do other events throughout the semester. We plan it, um, put it together, and tear it down. The Wesley Worship Team creates a space for people to enter into spirit-led worship, and that's really what we do through playing instruments, through singing. We just Our goal is to create that atmosphere to where people can go deep and hear from the Lord and worship in spirit and in truth. Media team, what we do is everything that happens behind the scenes at Tupos and all of our other events regarding lights and sound. The comm team at the Wesley is in charge of the Facebook Live feeds that we have at Two Posts and other events and is also in charge of photography, video, and graphic design. On the 27th at Two Posts, we're going to have booths set up uh, from each of the different resource teams where you can interview with that team leader and see if maybe that would be a good fit for you. We would love to have you guys join these teams and give us your heart and your hands as we together strive for the kingdom of God. Get on the floor if you got that booty. Uh -huh. 
You guys be looking forward to the Wesley Music Awards. Where you guys will all make uh, music videos and we'll have a formal night such as this and we will show your videos and we will choose the best of the best. Well, without further ado, one of my great friends, Nathan Callis, is with us tonight and he was a minister with me starting out from whenever I started ministry 17 years ago. Let's give it up for Nathan Callis, everybody. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Well, let's welcome Nathan Callis, everybody. All right, is his mic on? Check, check. Check a doo. Hello. There we are. Oh, ooh, you're hot. You're hot, Nathan. <laughs> well, then you're welcome. Why? To the booty dance? Would you want to be in our next music video? Uh, no, probably not. I'm coming to your house. We're dancing. <laughs> We're dat booty. Get on the floor if you've got dat booty. Um, first time I heard that, I thought it was cussing, but we were not. It was got dat booty. Dat. Got dat. Uh, so, Nathan, we started out in ministry like a long, long time ago. He was my bass player back in the day. We were part yep. of a thing called Chi Alpha together. And um, we, we, we were the ones who started this whole film stuff. I don't know, I don't yeah, know if anybody knows days. that. But we started with this thing called Random Acts of Stupidity, where I would stand there with like a, a camera under my shoulder like this, and he would just <laughs> run into Walmart and like hit one of those pylon, those red things, and go flying, hey, and their, their yeah, noise it, was horrible. Yeah, but what it was is Mikey had a camera, and he was like, hey, go do this. Go do that. <laughs> that is true. Go run into that pole in front of those people. It'll be awesome. And yeah. they were like, oh my God. Yeah. It was great. It was, it, then, and we did it like time and time again. And then we went to the car wash and blasted him. He's like, oh. Oh, yeah. Just we wonderful. washed our bodies. That was crazy. It was great. So yeah. um, tell us a little bit about your family. Yeah, uh, I'm, my wife is in the back now. Her name's Amy, but I've got uh, four beautiful kids. There's a picture. Can you guys see it? I got a bunch of kids. Up there, yeah. I got uh, three man. beautiful daughters. My oldest is a boy, and then uh, my littlest right there on your right, I guess, a mm -hmm. little girl. Her name's Lily, yeah. So yeah. Lily, Kinsley, Brooklyn, Jackson. And you work at Freedom Fellowship? I do, Freedom Fellowship Church. I'm a youth pastor there. So, yeah. That, that is awesome. Been there for Tell me, <laughs> I ask every guest this, what's the funniest thing that's happened to you in ministry? <laughs> Uh, there's lots. Um, <laughs> I will share this, okay? okay? Don't tell my pastor. Okay. Um, so as public speakers, we always, well, we don't always, but sometimes you find yourself saying something that after you said it, you're like, I probably should have never said that. I've never done um, that. Yeah, I know you probably never have said anything bad. Uh, <laughs> I've heard your stories. I mean, there's like, okay. No, never mind. Yeah, well, <laughs> yours are probably worse than mine. But, they are very uh, much worse than mine. So this one time I was preaching a sermon about the Holy Spirit and how you need his refreshing power in your life. Yes. Um, and the Holy Spirit in the Bible is also known as water, you know, kind of like that. And uh, mm -hmm. so there's this young girl in the front, um, and I'm speaking. I'm talking about how sometimes when we're uh, needing the Lord, we get thirsty. And so I look at this poor girl, and I was like, like you, you her name is Cheyenne. I was like, Cheyenne, you just look so thirsty. <laughs> Sorry, that's not right. But I was like, Cheyenne, you look so thirsty. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, yeah, you look thirsty. So like, I grab a bottle of water. I'm like, yeah, it's like, when we, and I don't even know where I was going with the point. Uh, but what I do know is I did not know what that means until the end. And some youth kid came up and shared it with me. And you're like, oh, um, God. Yeah. And, oh, uh, boy. So thirsty is not meaning you need a drink. I mean, I guess yeah. how, and, how and if you don't it, know, so. don't, don't Urban Dictionary. You don't, you don't yeah, need don't, to know. Don't if you don't know, that. you don't need to know. People are crazy out there, <laughs> robots and all kinds of crazy stuff. So don't don't even don't even Google that. Don't so, Google that. <laughs> yeah, don't Google that. What's another funny story that's happened to you in ministry? Oh man, uh, <laughs> oh lots of things. Uh, well, I, I will tell you about this. Two years ago, uh, I was we go on this trip, and so I set up a zip line. Oh god! And I thought it would be awesome the to. I, I have to test it first before the students can go. So the first year I tested out. And I'm at the top of this hill, and we're crossing a creek. It's like 20 feet in the air, and then to a tree, of course. And uh, I didn't realize you don't need to over-tighten this thing, right? So I get on it, and I fly down and bust my face in the wire, like cut my face. Oh, and gosh. then like three years later, I was like, well, i got to test it again, but I don't want to go down at this time, so I'm going to run up, right? So I grab the thing, and I, I go a little bit, test it. And one of my youths like, you should try running. Um, I think, Josiah, where are you at? You were there, weren't you? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too. Love you, man. And so <laughs> they're like, great. you should run at it. So I grab this thing. I take off running. And the rope, there's like a rope attached. It catches in the pulley. And it flings me out over the creek. And I land straight on my back. Like I was up 10 feet in the air. I broke my back and a rib on a youth trip. And this was like the first day. So, I mean, you talk about bad things happening. That's the worst that's ever happened. To kind me. of a Probably downer. Probably a rib, but yeah. It was oh, a downer. Man. And then so, uh, we had three more nights where I was speaking um, heavily medicated. So, <laughs> <laughs> and who that knows? was the best I've ever done. I mean, like, oh, well, who right. knows what you said? <laughs> yeah, you, who knows? I don't just remember. Just love it, so. everybody. <laughs> Why can't people just love God? <laughs> just all hug. Well, that's man. what I would say. It's a good man, day. Man, everybody just love each other. We have world peace. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about your job over there at, at Freedom Fellowship. What do you do? Yeah, so I'm a youth pastor. Uh, I also lead worship every now and then. Mm-hmm. And I've uh, been there for eight years. I love leading up these students. Josiah, lots of others have gone through the Wesley as well. Um, and so, yeah, it's a huge blessing to get to see kids, and especially ones that end up moving on into ministry. Um, I know, um, you know, like Josiah wants to be a band director that's, or choir director. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, to me, that's ministry. Mm-hmm. Um, so my heart is to raise up leaders who will someday lead. Um, Amen. And that's the Amen. win for me, yeah. Guys, I'll cool. tell you what, if there's, if there's anybody like, that is almost like cut from the same Jedi robe as myself, it would be this guy. <laughs> and we, we have had many, many adventures. Do you remember the time when we were in a uh, Scottish baking competition called the Great Scottish Baking Show? Oh, yeah, man, I remember that. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, they were trying to compete against... Uh, the oh, great was it bake- Britain's, Britain's Great yes. Baking Show? Yeah, it was awesome, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we didn't even know how to cook, man. We didn't know how to bake. We didn't know anything about it, but, but they loved how we, like, represented the fine Scottish lads, <laughs> you know? And we, no, we, we, tried, weren't, yeah. we weren't even Scottish. No, not at all. That no. was just crazy. Yeah. Uh, and we had to sneak arm doubles into the competition because we yeah. couldn't even bake. Yeah, we couldn't bake, so we had to get the arm doubles so that they wouldn't know that we were, you know, not, not competing, really. <laughs> we were just acting, so that was crazy, man. I don't think anybody ever noticed that it was, like, not even really our, our no, arms. No, we hadn't fooled totally. Yeah. yeah, I mean, no it, it actually got, came and became a big thing on the on the uh, TV, and oh, I think we actually have. Do we? Do we have? No way. We you have serious? the great Scottish, Scottish Bake Show. I mean, that was like so like no, 90s. Oh man, that's so long. That's ago. so crazy. Okay, do you guys want to see that? Yeah. No, yeah. no. Okay, well, let's watch an episode of it, uh, or just a clip of an episode. It's so crazy in here. So crazy? Yeah. Who are we supposed to compete against each other? Yes. Well then we shall. And I'm going to win. No, I ain't going to win. You have no chance. I always win when it comes to baking. <laughs> and also baking. You only win at losing. I eat bacon and I bake. In Scotland, Scotland we have I get All my kinds my of problems. Here. Hold on. <laughs> One of our problems is that we're all hunchbacks, and I can't say why. Why? But the first thing that we need to do, my friend, if we're going to compete in Scottish baking, <laughs> is we got to toast each other. We got, we got to toast. Oh, this Your is... hands look so <laughs> girly. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I toast, You're laughing at me. I toast to you. I t- I'm trying. I had too much meds. <laughs> oh, I still want the drink. <coughs> yeah. That's strong water. <laughs> you got the water. I've got the Jack Daniels, I see. <coughs> What do we need to do? <laughs> what are you, <laughs> what are you, what are you trying to do? I was say? intimidating. Uh, I was intimidating you. I am intimidated. Oh, you need to pick that up. It's a mess. 
Oh, you give me another drink? I want another drink. <laughs> give Mikey a drink. Where are you from? Michael, Michael needs a drink. I have had a <laughs> drink. So sip it up there, buddy. I've had it. Wow, that's good. It's good. I like it. It's good to be. Yeah. yeah, we're pot. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we supposed to do here? I think you're supposed to start mixing ingredients. <laughs> we need to mix the flour. So, mix the flour. So, yes. That's not oh my! Oh, I don't know what to do. I've never baked before. Uh, those are harshy kisses. First, I'm going to take the flour. I'm going to take the flour. The flour. I'm going to take the flour and I'm going to pour it into the bowl. Yeah, just a dash will do you, man. Just a dash. Oh, there, you know, all, you, all of it. You don't I even know. It. It. You don't it's know. Fine. You don't know how to cook nothing. <laughs> Where are you from? Are you from the Highlands? I come. <laughs> All right, take the sugar now. Don't tell him. Not, that's not sugar. I don't know why I talk to myself yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's it. I, just I, a dash. I have to judge just it. Just a little dash. <laughs> we get all that sugar in there. This is good. All right, and then we'll get the butter. I think it's butter. Butter. It's oil. Yeah, it's oil. Okay, just a, just a little bit of oil. Are you a hunchback? Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit All of right, oil. There you go. Okay. Oh, that's plenty of oil. Yes, Very good. yes. Okay. My legs hurt, man. You need, you need the chocolate chips? You yes. Got some bake. Alrighty. And uh, you look like a motherless goat. <laughs> I'm on a cheat day today. We're You've got to stir, but you forgot the cinnamon, cake. gentlemen. Well, you forgot the cinnamon. cinnamon. A little farther stretch. I got little arms. <laughs> little more. Little more. Little more. Oh, more. There, there that, you that's go. Heat, oh, that's heat. So that's much. heat right there. Mine is the very cinnamon. <laughs> I like to call it the pumpkin spice little thing. Oh, I like to do it. <laughs> That's a, that's a cinnamon cake. It's, there. it's always good to taste the cinnamon to make sure well, you have the right one. There you go. There you go. Mm, that's yes, good. that's good. That's good. <laughs> when All when right. mixing, when All mixing, right. you want to stir in a counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise for seven turns, and then go clockwise for ten. You got nothing. It's just spinning, I can't stop. Does it taste me better? Taste it, yes. You slap me. Slap you. You're gonna slap me. Ah! I'll bite you too. You're doing hunchback. Get oh, off of me. You hit me in my eye. Gentlemen. I hit myself in the eye. It's I not the cancer. I'm in my eyeballs. It's not the oh, cancer. Gentlemen, 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 you're making okay. such a mess. You make my contact pop out. Okay. All right, now let's put it in the oven. Oh yes, put it in the oven. This will be fun to do. Oh, man. All right. Man smells so Putting tasty. Putting it at 350 degrees. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, look, okay. it turned out so beautiful. OK. Whoa. It's Just quite, to... quite lovely, yes. Whoa. OK, Whoa. we've got a green one here. Yours is beautiful, too. Yeah, That's more beautiful. Or something. I want to taste them. Now I want to taste yours, and you can taste mine. <laughs> no, I don't. No. OK, just like a what wedding, you... just like a no. wedding. I right, think we should be very calm about the way we do. Yes. Nice and easy. Eat oh, Mikey bites. Well, Eat I'm my cake, Michael. Oh, it's good. Ew, this is minty. I don't even need any. Oh. It's very good, gentlemen. Very good. Very good. I'm going. Yes. Oh, I didn't think try mine. Yes. How about you try mine? <laughs> Try my oh, that's good. My ear don't have a mouth. <laughs> oh, I want my good. own. I want a piece of mine. Okay, there you go. Yes. Now really get in there. Really put your face in there. Mine is yeah. so much better. Yes. yes. There you go. Mine, man. You want to really get into that cake to taste all the flavors. Boom. <laughs> no. <laughs> gentlemen, 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 please. You can all do it, Mikey. Remember your manners, please, please. Oh, there you go. That's delicious. I, I think I won. I'm so I think I won. You're um, loose. Who won? 
Well, I think we should leave it up to the audience. Who won? Yes. Is we it won. the is it the guy on the right or the really crazy guy on the left? Which one is <laughs> left? Yes. Left? Left? Right? 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 Yeah. Right? Yeah. Left? Right? No, oh. right here. Right it here. sounds like it's a tie, to no. be honest with you. It's, oh, yeah? It's, you, we don't tie. We don't tie. Yes. <laughs> tie food. <laughs> no tie food. Yes. We have a tie. When you tie. No, we tie have food. a tie. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. What, what's happening? Oh, oh, my hunch is... <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? Oh, Everybody give it up for Nathan Callis! <laughs> yes. Yeah. And their, our wives. Yes, our wives. And Pastor Bennett and his wife. You're still covered. And no. let's give it up for Monarch, our musical guest tonight. Anyway you want it, that's the way you need it. Anyway you want it. She loves to laugh, she loves to sing, and she does everything. She loves to move. She loves to groove, she loves to love you things Ooh, all night, all night, oh, every night So hold tight, hold tight, ooh, baby, hold tight Oh, she said, any way you want it, that's the way you need it Any way you want it, any way you want it, that's the way you need it Any way you want it I was alone, I never knew what good love would do. Ooh, then we touch, then we say about the loving things. Ooh, all night, all night, oh, every night. So hold tight, hold tight, ooh, baby, hold tight. guys have a great Thanksgiving uh, coming up in the next few days. Make sure to be thankful. Make sure to tell the people that you love, that you love them. Um, and uh, make sure to be kind to your mama, amen, and uh, your dad, and uh, be the light of Christ to them when you go back home uh, this, this weekend. Uh, I want to pray over you guys uh, before we go, and uh, just want to thank you guys for such a wonderful semester. We've had such a great time with you guys. And uh, boy, this, this semester has really been one for the book, so I really, really appreciate all of you guys. Let's give it up for you guys as a part of this family. I do want to say uh, it's such a special thing uh, that we have here, uh, that we can, we can laugh together, that we can uh, pray together, we can go hard in the paint on Tuesday nights, we can laugh all the time, we can play video games, we can encourage each other, we can grow together. And uh, it, it really is a wonderful thing. And so <clears throat> I'm going to pray over us. And as we go, Monarch's going to play one more song. Feel free to get crazy. And uh, then we're going to pack up and, and go home. Woo! All right. Crazy, Lord Jesus, we love you. Thank you for this food. Lord, thank you for all the people that brought it. What a wonderful sign of your kingdom, Lord, when everybody brings just a little bit to the table and it feeds everybody. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Lord, for the gifts that you've given us. Help us to turn around and be gift, uh, gifts for other people. Uh, I thank you for our guests that came out tonight. I thank you uh, for the students, Lord, whose lives are being transformed this semester. And uh, thank you for everything you've done for us. We're so thankful, God. 
And uh, this Thanksgiving on Thursday, Lord, I pray that we'd just take a moment to, to step away from social media, that we'd take time to just step away from all the, all the screens and just to look at each other and to just enjoy each other and just to be in each other's lives. Uh, we love you, Lord. Thank you that you give us your son. Thank you that you do what you do. In your precious name, amen. 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 Well, it's time. Let's give it up for Monarch. a little white dove more than a feeling that's the power of love tougher than diamonds oh it's like cream stronger and harder than a bad girl's dream make a bad one good make a wrong right the power of love will keep you home at night and don't take money don't take faith Oh, oh, oh. 